from The Creative Eclectic. Today I'm going to share with you a really easy way to get your heat embossed projects in whatever stamping up colour that you like. This is such a simple technique and you'll probably think why on earth did I not think of this before. So let's get started. So first up we need our Stamparatus. I've taken off one of the plates and I've put my magnets on. I've got a piece of shimmery white cardstock. Now the stamp we're using today is from the hand delivered stamp set. I'm just going to place that stamp on there. And now just going to push that down. And I've got it exactly where I want it. I'm going to cut it out so it doesn't really matter for me where I have it. Before I ink it up, because it is a photopolymer stamp and they are prone to staining, as you can see here, um, I am just going to put some Versamark ink over the top of it to prime it. Okay, so I'm just going to use my fingers and rub it in. Now I'm taking my Melon Mambo ink pad. This is an old style ink pad and it's very well loved and um, well used. And I'm just going to ink up my stamp. Ideally I should have used a stamping spot for this. Um, I'll just take my stamping chamois and I'll just wipe off any excess of the sheet because I'm feeling particularly messy today. Um, your stamping chamois, if you only buy one thing from the catalogue, make it the stamping chamois. Don't worry about it, it does stain, but that doesn't come off on your stamps. Just wash it every time you use it, let it dry. It's perfect. So I wanted pink balloons, so that's why I'm using the Melon Mambo. Yeah. I'm going to ink them up. So I've put my magnet in the wrong spot, so I'm just going to move my magnet round. Get my ink again. Put a bit more ink on. Wipe off any excess. So there we go. And I'm not worried about those little spots inside because I'm actually going to be colouring it in in pink so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so you want to clean your stamp really well. Um, yeah, excuse all the squeaking. Now, before you go any further, I want you to take your embossing buddy. Now this is an anti-static pillow and it stops the embossing powder from sticking where you don't want it to be. So we're just going to go all over it. Now you have to do this if you want a good result. I'm going to move that magnet over to this side. Mm -hmm. so, okay, so now I've got my Versamark ink. So you notice I haven't taken my stamp off that. And I've also put the stamp case underneath. the. Um, and what that does is that gives you something to ink up on. Just a handy little tip. So we're going to get the Versamark, ink that up generous with it and you might want to do this twice um, just to make sure I like to rub my palm of my hand over but you could just rub, press it down with your fingers however you like and I'm going to ink it again just to make sure now there's some little random bits at the bottom of the stamp don't worry about those they're going to be cut off 
when I cut it out. Okay. So now what I can do, I can remove my um, cardstock. I'm going to move my Stamparatus and stamp case out of the way. Now I've got my clear embossing powder. So now I'm feeling a little bit lazy. I could get there with a spoon and do this, but I'm just going to pour a bit on into the lid. Gonna chip the excess off into the container. So you might see that it's got quite, there's a white line over top of where the Melamambo ink was. That's fine. That's exactly what you, how you want it to look. Just make sure there's no embossing powder where the magle, magnets were. Close up your embossing powder, put it well away from the heat so it doesn't melt into a big puddle. And we're going to grab our trusty heat tool and turn it onto high. Now you can see that we have, sorry I had it up a bit high, that we have some raised glossy melon mambo embossing. How easy was that? Now all I have to do is colour it in. Okay, back again. So now the colouring's done and this is a completed card. Um, as you can see, you've got the head embossed melon mambo outlines and on the skirt I did a granny apple green head embossing. Um, so again, it's stamping first in the colour that I chose, which was granny apple green and then heat embossing in clear embossing powder. So as you can see, you can change the colour of your embossing to suit any project and make it whatever colour you like. So that will definitely mean that you don't have to go out and buy 50 million embossing powders. You can just use the ink colours that you have and then emboss them over the top with clear. Okay, hope you really enjoyed this tip. Until next time, happy stamping!